Hey, welcome back, guys. So we still have a problem of sending empty values, and that's because uh, if we look at this here, if I try to type uh, lecture and add a new thing here, and then click save, you see a few of these values that are empty. They are set to no. So let's get rid of those. Now, those guys are created by either the UID or the index when we try to add one of those values that do not exist because we're trying to get them from the attribute of that input. Now, certain inputs do not have this attribute. That's where we have those empty values. So to fix this, all we need to do is actually check to see which items have it, and then we only save those. So this is simply uh, done by putting an if statement. We can just do that. And let me come back here as well and copy this. So if this is a thing, because uh, let's say if, yeah, because the values clearly are no, which is nothing. So by simply saying if this, if this ends up being a no, it's as good as false. So it won't go through to save it. So with that in mind, let's... Um, Let's refresh and see if anything has changed. This is in the save content function, by the way. So right here, if I add a lecture, I'll add this and simply save. So as you can see, all the, um, the no empty values are gone. At least that reduces the amount of data that we need to send, so which is good. Okay, so now we need to organize this data. The same way the data is organized by curriculum here, let's actually see that in the admin section. So it's always good to know what's happening. So I'm going to leave this to show us what we've posted, but remove the die part here, okay? I'm going to only tell it to die over here, okay? Before we grab the old records. So this part is what sorts the data for the sections part, right? And this one sorts the data for the lectures. So we want to make sure that both are sorting the data correctly. So I'm going to grab uh, this part right here, copy this whole part, and let's put it right here. Let's put a die over here, just to make sure that um, we don't proceed to save anything after this. And then I'm going to replace all of these with uh, a bracket. I'll do that. Then press the home key and do show like that. Okay, good. So that we get a taste of what we have created in these guys. Now, looking at uh, the data that we have so far, we can actually see, try to see what kind of data we expect in the... Let's see here. So it sorts out the curriculum data. So this data right here will be sorted into the curriculum uh, section, which will go in the metadata, meta UIDs, and description. So this is great. So the in, this includes this. So all this will be well sorted. But this right here, the lecture up to here, we will not. So this is the one we we need to deal with. So the format of the content is lecture and then a number and then UID lecture and a number, index lecture and then description there. Okay, great. So mm -hmm. this index must try to match that one. We're going to fix that. But for now, let's just try and get everything apart from the index. We'll go step by step. So in here, if we try the way it is right now, preg much, if these, hmm, I guess everything has some text, underscore and a number, uh, some text, underscore, number. Hmm. Looks like, let's see here. This one starts with, as long as there's a number here. So this is not, this is not great. 
Um, hmm. So this is for the curriculum section only. So which means we must put curriculum here at least. Also here, UID. Let me see what this has. So there's UID. So there's curriculum and a number. There's UID curriculum and a number. So I think this is the, yeah. Mm, mm. Great, great. So I think there's a problem here. So we should put curriculum at the beginning here. Uh, that goes for this as well. Because otherwise it will get uh, even the lecture data here because lecture data does match this. Having, uh, if we don't put curriculum here because having some text here and a number on this side uh, still matches what we are looking for. So let's see. Actually, this is not where we are supposed to check this out. Let me undo these guys. It should be in the if statement for the section. So here, instead of having this like so, we should literally just put the word curriculum over here. So I'm just going to say curriculum underscore number. It was okay then because this was the only one that had this format, right? But now we have lecture and a number, so we can't use that anymore. So I'm going to do that, put a number, okay? And yep, this should work just fine. Actually, let me undo there. Let me replace this part, like so. Okay, great. Then we have the UID underscore curriculum as well. Let's put that on the if statement, paste underscore. Then we have description curriculum underscore. I hope that's how it is. Yep, that's what it is. So good, that should do it. And then here we just need to change this to lecture. So let me copy this, let me grab that, including the plus sign. And let's put lecture there, underscore. And I will put lecture here as well, underscore. Okay, so let's see what data we're going to collect from this, from doing this. So let me refresh that. Let's try add something and we'll save. Okay, so we've saved there. Now let's see what data we got. So we did get section one, section two, that's great for the curriculum sections. I don't really know what this one is. Uh, okay, so the lecture as well got that correct. And then it got two empties here. Hmm. This is not good. The data should not be empty in there which is for the UIDs and the descriptions. So that is not good. So what went wrong? Um, UID underscore curriculum. Um, there should be a value with that. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot to remove these guys here. Yeah, so this replaces the, this part. So sorry about that. This is my bad. Yep and here as well because we've added actual text so there's no need to add this here all right let's try this again let's refresh let's add new lecture maybe two of these babies and let's save all right so we have good data now curriculum is there Curriculum UIDs are there. Descriptions of curriculums are here. There's a lecture here. There's lecture UIDs. And then these belong to the same. Uh, yep, which is true. They belong to the same um, section. That's why they have the same lecture UIDs here as those. Actually, just one. 851, which is this one. So this one had nothing, which is true. And then we have the descriptions there. So this is awesomeness. I love this. Now what we can do is put uh, 
IDs as well. So we can grab those IDs to know uh, what's going on. Because if I had, um, let's see here. What happens if I have some empty ones? So I'll do this and then I'll go to add a section. So this one section more and section more description and then let's add a lecture we say lecture more and then lecture more description so i just want to see how these will be organized so let me save there we go so rightly so here we have um curriculum okay so there's mo one more section that's true but then here we have a problem. We have one more lecture. We have a description for it, but we have no UID. So this is correct. There are no UIDs. So, but the problem is if we had more than one here, we wouldn't know uh, how to give the UIDs to each. So here we need our indices. So that's very important. So let me duplicate just the last one here. And then instead of description, let's exchange that with index. Okay, great. So that becomes index lecture. And then lecture data, instead of descriptions, we say index. Yeah. Great. Let's do the same for these guys as well. I'll duplicate this one. Oh, no. What have I done? Duplicate. So instead of description, this one will be index. And then uh, we'll know how to use these index there. Then we have to create them as well here. So I'll duplicate that and put index. And the same thing here, duplicate that and put index. All righty then we need to show them here as well so that we see their values let's say index and i'll say index there as well all right great so back here moment of truth let's see if it will show those as well so add a lecture here but then add completely new section and another completely new section one lecture for this new section and another lecture here. So I just want to see if everything here will be accounted for, save, and let's see. So it seems like it actually is. So we have our indices there uh, for curriculums and we also have our indices here for the lectures. So there's two, hmm, looks like there's still some data missing. Anyway, we are one step closer here which is nice. Now with this organized data like this, we can actually start saving data in the database, which is awesome.